Hello all, welcome to part 20 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate one of the methods of the Extent Reports library, which can be used for attaching the screenshots to the report. That is add screen capture from Bay64 Spring method of Extent Reports library. Okay, so let's get started. We can use this add screen capture from base 64 spring method okay add screen capture from base 64 spring method of extent reports library for attaching the screenshots to the extent report so i'm going to practically demonstrate this for you so let me quickly switch to the eclipse id here in the previous session we have used this code guys okay uh, which also will attach the code okay which also will attach the screenshot to the extent reports so here, as you can see here, uh, this code may look uh, big now, but uh, you see, I have separated the take screenshot method and this particular code is actually belong to Selenium, which will take the screenshot, okay? And return the path of the screenshot file. And here, here somewhere here, by using the add screen capture from path method of extend report library, we are using the path for adding or attaching the screenshot to the extend report test at the test level. But now, now what I'm trying to use is here, instead of using add screen capture from path, I'm going to use this method known as add screen capture from base 64 string. For that, I need to do some modification for this code. How to do the modifications? Yeah, guys, let this be like that only, okay? Or I will remove some portion of this, uh, okay? Because uh, it looks complex a bit. So let me make this simple. Test execution started, test execution completed. Here I'm attaching the screenshot. Okay. So that's fine. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the file name. I think it's not required. It's required to take the file name or so. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we can do. So string base screenshot. I'll simply return this screenshot, guys. You don't need the file name or something here, guys. Okay. So I'll simply return, okay, return base 64 screenshot like that I'll write, okay, which will be in the string format only. The return type will be string. You see how simple it is. I'm output type is base 64 and I'm returning that base 64 screenshot, okay. I don't have to write that extra lines and all. So here base 64 will be returned. When base 64 is returned, guys, then when you take the screenshot, Okay, when you call this method up, that is take screenshot method, you don't have to pass this file name now. What you can do here is uh, you'll just call this method and it will take the screenshot and return in the form of base64 screenshot. So this, this one that is uh, taking the screenshot, this method I'll directly provide here, guys. Okay, instead of using like this, I'll mention dot add screenshot from base 64 string okay this is a method i am trying to use guys okay here i'll call this method which will return you the base 64 screenshot code okay i'll just call this method from here guys okay here in this place that's it it's so simple as how it looks like okay let's see how it goes how the screenshot will be taken let's see okay so you are just capturing the screenshot with output type as base64. Here, base64 screenshot code will be there. You can write code if you want. Code and uh, that will be returned to the take screenshot method. Here, I'm calling the method. It, it will retrieve the base64 screenshot code that will be passed to this method that is add screen capture from base64 string. And the screenshot will be attached to the extent test. Okay, at the test level, it is getting attached. Let's see how it will be attached and all those stuff. Okay, the report will be automatically opened because of this line. Uh, but here, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Okay, so here the screenshot will not be stored on the screenshots folder. Okay, let me delete this. This is not required anymore. Okay, the screenshots folder is not required. Here directly we are capturing the screenshot and attaching that embed, attaching that to the report. Okay. Here we are not storing in the project. The screenshot we are not storing the project. Rather, we are attaching the screenshot directly in the directly to the report, guys. Okay, that's what is happening here. 
the code has become very simple where you are just retaining the basis for screenshot code by capturing the screenshot using the output type as base64 and retaining that base64 screenshot code and uh, here it will be returned and this method will be using that okay it's uh, the screenshot will not be stored in the project rather it will be embedded directly in the extent report okay at the test level okay we'll we'll see that happening right click run as the obligation let the report open up small changes you have to do guys that's nothing much to understand this method If you have followed the previous session properly, you can understand this easily. Yeah. Here, the report has been generated. Where is the screenshot then? You see the test one, the screenshot is there, guys. Uh, this is base 64 screenshot code. So it will not be displayed in the uh, other way that uh, uh, like uh, you, you would have to get a small preview, right? In the previous uh, session, if you have seen, in the normal, if you have taken the screenshot you, uh, using the path or something, you will have seen a preview, but this time you will not see a preview, guys. You will see this kind of purple kind of thing, okay? Base 64 image kind of thing. Click on that, you will get the screenshot directly, okay? This is how it looks like, okay? This is how the screenshot will be taken, guys. You can give a title if you want. Come back here to the code and here to this method, you can add a title. Tutorials Ninja. Tutorials ninja home page home page is the title okay let's give the title run the script again right click run as the application this time along with the screenshot embedded in the extent report you'll also see a title under that okay some title text under that let's see that screenshot is taken the report will be opened automatically as you can see under this base 64 image, you see tutorials in the home page title has come. Okay. There are two overloaded methods, one with title, one without title. But the concept is same. Okay. Here the code is reduced a lot. Okay. This uh, re reusable, the reusable code uh, method is being the code inside this reusable method is reduced a lot, where you're just capturing the screenshot and uh, uh, you're returning the base 64 screenshot code and that is being passed to this add screen capture from base 64. You don't have to store the screenshot in the project and all. Okay. This is very simplest form you can say. Okay. So with this guys, I uh, hope you have understood uh, how to use this uh, one of the methods of the extent reports library that is add screen capture from base 64 string for attaching the screenshot or embedding the screenshots to the extent report. Okay. And here preview will not be displayed in the extent report as you have seen. Okay. And the code looks very simple and straightforward. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to explain and demonstrate another topic on extent reports for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.